Welcome to our devotional. Here is where we learn more about our Heavenly Father. Join us. You don't want to miss out on this blessing. Living Stones Church. Living in Stone family, good morning. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, for today, we are going to be talking about faith. Uh, but before we start, let's we start with a prayer. Heavenly Father, uh, we come this morning into your presence. We come uh, willing and with hunger of getting to know more about you, getting to know more of what you want for us, what you have for us. That's why I, I'm asking you, Lord, that you open our understanding open our sense to really connect with your word with your message and be able to have the wisdom for me to express and for the listener to understand what you wanted to tell them and what you wanted to teach us uh, with this in mind i really ask you holy spirit that you be guiding us in everything that we have to do in the name of jesus amen uh, when we speak about faith, many people believe that faith is a trick of magic. Some others instead, they believe that faith is a wishing dream. But many times we miss the point due to the lack of understanding and the root of the real meaning. Let's start from what the Bible says about it. And it reads, I will be using the New, Trans New Living Translation and the and the amplified version right so the new living translation it reads faith shows the reality of what we hope for it is the evidence of things we cannot see through the faith the people in days of all earned a good reputation and the amplified version it says, now faith is the insurance, deed confirmation of things hoped, hoped for, divinely granted, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of the reality, faith comprehends as fact we cannot experience by the physical senses. Starting from here, we can notice that faith is a security. And this security is why, and, and to, to describe that security, is why I love the description of the Amplified Version in their narrative, when it describes and it says, now faith is the, insur the insurance, the deed confirmation of things hoped for but it described it divinely granted so the bible is not telling you that god is going to give you whatever you wish for it clearly says that divinely granted what includes a desires according with the purpose of god in your life now the question is that it might include material things? Yes, it might, but it is not a conditional. And here, I would like to guide this concept in a practical direction. And for this, I would like to invite you to read Luke 8, 43 to 48. I will be using the New Living Translation, say, a woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding and she could find no cure. Coming up behind Jesus, she touched the finger of his robe. Immediately, the bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. Everyone denied it and Peter said, Master, this whole crowd is presenting up against you. But Jesus said, 
someone deliberately touched me, for I felt healing power go out of me. When the woman realized that she could not stay hidden, she began to tremble and fell on her knees in front of him. The whole crowd heard the, her explain why she had told him and that she had been immediately, immediately healed. Dora, he said to her, you, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. And when I read this test, it many many questions come to my to me and make me think about like was Jesus referring when he made the question who touched me? Was Jesus referring that he didn't know who was touching me? Who who was that person? Was really Jesus referring that? But when I was getting it deep into the reading of the study Bible, I, I came across this sentence that I would like to write to read loud to you, uh, that it really makes me a huge impact, and it says, He felt her touch of faith, her desperate intention to be healed. But Jesus wanted the woman to step forward and identify herself. To let her slip away would have meant a lost opportunity for Jesus to teach her that his cloak did not have magical properties. Rather, her faith in him had healed her. He might also have wanted to teach the crowds a lesson. Right, I believe that this is a lesson for all of us. And the reason that I would like to bring that scripture to you is for us to develop that level of faith. Not believing that a pastor, a church, or a dream will come true and change our life. It's just believing that Jesus has the power to transform, to heal, and to make a change in our life. Because this woman was suffering for 12 years. 12 years where she tried everything possible. But when she come to realize that that security that just touching Jesus was enough to heal her was the conviction that Arius 11 is speaking so that's my that's why my invitation to you today is to read Arius 11 and let's see what God wants to talk to you through that scripture. Let allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life and transform your life according of His purpose for you. That's why, my dear listener, I really hope that you enjoy the time reading this passage and I really hope that the Holy Spirit encourage you to have a step of faith. All right, God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. We hope you that you connect with us in tomorrow's devotional as well. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll connect again for our next devotional. May God bless you.